it's Kristen and it's time for a total rehaul. For those of you that are new to total rehaul, this is a video where I go back to a haul about six, seven months ish ago, depending. And I always link the original haul below for you. So I will do that again this time as well. Uh, and I pull the products. I t come back to you guys and tell you if I like them, if I didn't like them. And the reason that um, people started doing these videos, this is not an original idea by me. The reason that people started doing these videos is some of the products that we haul may not make it into favorites, may not make it into fails. We may not do a full, full review on them, but this is a way for us to come back and give you some more thoughts on those hauls. So it wasn't just a show and not a show and tell. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing in this particular um, haul was the Makeup Geek, and I'm gonna grab my towel here, the Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadows. I just recently talked about these. I purchased, I like pre-purchased the 10 of them that came out like sight unseen. Um, and this is, those are the shades. And I swatched them all in that video if you wanna check them out. These are beautiful but they crease on me. It does not matter, what, and I know I've heard lots of people say that, um, like Marlene has said, and I think I've even heard her say, that they will, you know, there's a lot of oil in them. If you have oily lids, which I do, um, then they will crease on you. I've tried glitter glue. I've tried every primer that I owned. I, I've tried a lot of different combinations, and unfortunately, they just don't work for so me. So while they don't work for me, I, I, have, I have found something that's similar that actually costs a little bit less. Um, and works like they they look the same but they perform much better for me and that's the NYX Prisma Prisma something Prisma <laughs> Prismatic Shadows good gravy game um, and they have that same kind of metallic-y finish to them or foiled I should say finish to them and for me these ones just work better on my eyes and I know that there are tons of people that love these and they and they work great for a lot of people, and I wish they worked great for me. Um, I actually have a friend who really loves them that I am going to send those to, so they shan't go to waste. Uh, okay, next is actually something that I've talked about so often since that video, um, and that was the MAC Lip Liner in Vino, and then this one I haven't talked about as much, the MAC Lip Liner in Current, and then the MAC Lipstick in Pervet, which is a glaze. So, <laughs> this is, you can tell that I, I always use this for the same thing, you can tell there. So let me just wipe this off a little bit. So I can give you a, a swatch of it. In that video, I am wearing this lip combination. So go ahead and take a look at that. And, oh, I will try to find, I did do a video um, demonstrating the lip, how I do that lip combo that I was talking about in the video. And what that is, is Mac, and I'll try to link wherever it is I did that demo below for you guys. Okay. How many thoughts can I spit out in one sentence? So this is the lip liner in Vino, which looks like that. And what I do with this is I fill in my lips and I, from two thirds up and two thirds down. So what I mean by that is I fill in my lip and go in towards my mouth, two thirds and the same on the top, and then go over it with Pervet. And it's just the prettiest lip combo of life. And it was not original to me, so I'm not taking credit for it. And then the other one that I bought is in Current, and I've not used Current quite as much, but um, that is a pretty color as well. But anyway, so um, of those, the winner was definitely the the Vino and Pervet lip combo. I just I love it. Okay, then I had a few Estee Lauder things. The first thing that I had was the Estee Lauder EE cream. And I had heard some people talking about that, raving about it, so I got it. It just didn't do anything for me. I didn't find it, it did nothing for me. I, I didn't love it. So I actually very recently ended up sending it to M so that she could try because she hadn't tried it yet at all. Um, and so we will see what she thinks about it. But for me, it just wasn't enough coverage. If I were like a CC cream or an EE cream or BB cream or whatever cream, for me, I still wanted to have some decent coverage that I can then put... Um, you know, just a powder foundation or something over the top of it. I don't want to have to put another liquid foundation on top of it. And that's what I felt like I would have had to do with that. So I did love it. And I thought, well, instead of it sitting here, I'll get, I'll send it to M. She can give it a try. So that's what I did. Um, all right. Nextly from, nextly, next, 
from Estee Lauder was another one of their quints. And I did a, I actually did a video talking about all the Estee Lauder products that I had purchased and what I thought about them and that sort of thing. Um, I think I did them in different. So I will link the one below where I talked about the other quints. This was my fourth or fifth quint that I've purchased from them. And I like this one. I still think the Untamed Teal is my favorite, but this is very, very pretty. They actually, the, the taupe that I thought I would like the most was the one that was the most disappointing. But if you wet it, it's a little more, and that's the other taupe in there. And again, I've said this time and time again, the winner of these, of these quints, the winning shade in there is always the dark one. Look at that. I mean, that is a beautiful matte navy. And then that's the other blue one. And there they are swatched, and I put the cream color on along the side there. But look at that navy blue. I mean, it's amazing. Um, I've really been so happy with these, and I've purchased all of those myself. Um, okay, <laughs> like most of the things I show you. I purchased the NARS Duo in Isold. I think that's right. And that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today, and it looks like this. If you have not taken a gander at this, this actually is a really good, would be a really good combo with um, the one in... St. Paul Devents, Devent, whatever. Those are good because um, this one is more kind of satin matte finish and these are more metallic. I didn't even, I didn't use that today. Today I used Max Soft Brown in the crease, but you could totally, you could pair these together. I think I'm gonna leave those out and try that tomorrow. But anyway, uh, this, I've, I've shown this already in a favorites and it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Perfect for summer. You could use both shades on their own or today I have them paired together. Just, gorgeous. Great pigmentation, great lasting power, great finish. Love, love, love. The next thing that I talked about on there was the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Collection. And it was something that they must have had out for like holiday time. Um, I had a couple of things. This, I, this must have been end of November or something like that. And um, I actually am still considering purchasing full size of that Living Proof sham the Perfect Hair Day, I think it was. Shampoo and conditioner. I love the perfect hair day. I leave that I use that product every time I leave my hair or I pull it with a round brush um, But I really liked that shampoo and conditioner. I remember talking about that in an empties video as well, so I don't have that to show you because I used it, but um, The other thing on there was the Alterna Caviar Moisture Trio and again, that was something that was for holiday, but um, I I didn't use the 10 in 1 cream yet. I used the shampoo and conditioner and found them to be fine, but nothing earth shattering. And I haven't used the 10 in 1 caviar cream yet, so I will have to report back to you guys at that time. So, so not so much to tell you there. The next thing was the Bite Lush Trio, which was like this, and again, holiday. But the reason, you know, one of the reasons I want to come back and talk to you guys about these things is, um, even if they're not available in this size, it's still available in full size. And I didn't like these. Uh, they, they like smell funny. <laughs> and I, I found them hard to apply. I love the Bite lipsticks, the different types of that, but I just did not love this. And I'm putting a swatch of all of these on here so that I can show you what they look like. Just not my favorite by any means. Um... So there's one that's kind of like a milky nude, one that's more of a mauvey nude, and one that's kind of a bright pink. So let me try to <laughs> let me try to tell you these in order, and they're so teeny tiny. So this is Rambutan, is that right? Yeah, Rambutan, Current, and Strawberry are the shades there. So nothing to write home about. I wouldn't purchase those again. I wouldn't purchase. Um, a full size either so that's just that's just my opinion on those I'm curious if anybody else um, I remember somebody asking me when I first purchased them if they smelled and they didn't smell like off they just don't and, and I did I remember not smelling anything at the time but when I pulled them out to use like I don't know a couple months ago I pulled one of them out to use I was like this does not smell right Something that I don't have to show you is the um, Urban Decay Naked on the Run. And if you haven't seen it, I'll find a picture and put it right here. Or I'll screenshot something from, you know, from that video of me showing it. I just didn't find that worth the money at all. I didn't find the, the shadows to be as good as their normal shadows. Um, it wasn't unique. 
it's my own fault for buying it, even though I knew probably going in it wasn't going to be unique. But I just thought it looked like it would be something that would be good for travel, and it was bulkier than I thought it would be, so it just wasn't for me. I think it's part of their um, permanent collection, so I will link it below for you, for you if you're interested, but it just wasn't, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, and I thought, well, I'm, for that kind of money, I returned it, so... That's, that's that. And what's interesting is that I have on my notes, because I print out the description box when I'm going to do these rehauls, and I've had on here, yes, this is limited edition for holiday 2014. So in that video, I must have said something about it, but I'm almost positive I have seen it since then. So anyway. All right, the next thing I have is the Sephora Pro Smoky Brush in number 30. And I have done a video on all of my Sephora brushes, and I'll link that below for you in case you're curious. Um, I like this brush. I don't know that I would repurchase this one again. Uh, what I ended up really liking it for was um, getting shadow kind of right up underneath my brow bone and blending out that area. Um, it's intended, I assume, because it's smoky for smudging out the lash line as I catch my hair and the <laughs> your upper lash line. And I, I mean, it was fine for that. It just wasn't my favorite. I don't reach for this brush very much. So, um, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know. It's fine. It's just not one that I reach for a lot. <laughs> we'll go with that. Uh, the next thing that I have, and I don't have a full size to show you. I actually could have grabbed it out of my empties, but um, I just grabbed this because I knew I had it. And it was the um, Luxitan Almond Shower Oil. And this is just a little travel size that I have of it. But I go through those. I use one up about probably every six months or so, something like that. And that's what I use for shaving my legs. And I think I'm on my fourth when I have to purchase one. It's in my basket of my Sephora cart. I need to purchase one and that will be my fourth one, I think, if I if I remember correctly. Love it. Love, love, love it. If you haven't tried it, just give it a shot. I actually just bought the, like the deluxe size or whatever at Sephora for a friend of mine. Because I like it so much and I think she will too. So I was like, you just need to try it. It was it's at the so if you want to try it but you don't want to go all in for the full size, in the little like aisle of death when you're waiting to check out there <laughs> where there's all the little things you can grab, um, there's always like a size in there. I think it's nine dollars or something like that. So just give it a shot. Just give it a shot. And then the very last thing is actually the only thing that I didn't use at all. I don't know why. Um, that's another thing that these rehauls are good for is to be like, hey game. Use the products that you purchased, huh? So this is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in Baby Berry. And I remember hearing um, Lindsay from Lindsay Does Nails and a couple other people talk about this. These liners are very nice. They go on very smoothly. It's a very pretty color. I just haven't used it. I don't know why. It actually was in my in my vanity here, the, the front drawer that opens. I put things in there that I want to try, and that's where it was. I just hadn't, I hadn't tried it. So I promised to try it and report back to you guys in some way shape or form so all right so the other thing that I had shown in that haul was my lure beauty box and it was the I think the last one that I purchased or the last one that I got and I did not purchase the one this year there are lots of different items in that and I have kind of gone through those as I've used them up or not used them or whatever I've talked about the in empties and that sort of thing so I'm not going to go through that whole thing because good gravy we could be here all night long but I do want to say that in this particular box, there are things that I've found and really ended up liking, and then there are things that I haven't used it. Like the Physician's Formula Nude Wear Glowing Blush in Rose. I'll grab that out to show you. It looks like this. I really like this. This made it into a favorite, and I don't think I ever would have purchased it had it not come in the Allure Beauty box, only because of this packaging. While it's cute, it's bulky as all get out, and I don't appreciate that. Um, I will say the Rusk texture dry finishing spray that'll actually probably show up in an empties but I didn't like that all that smells I cannot deal with rusk like aerosol products the rusk leave-in conditioner the um, I can't remember exactly what it's called but that is very nice and and smells nice and works well but any of the aerosol like the hairspray finishing spray that sort of thing no no ma'am no ma'am so I just took a look through the rest of the list and there isn't anything else on that list that really stood out to me as something that I really loved or didn't love um yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this rehaul and on the rest of my face today I have the it cosmetics CC cream with the Burberry Trench Powder Foundation over the top of that. I already told you I have the E Sold by NARS Duo on my eyes with a little MAC Soft Brown and some Brulee. And then I also have um, MAC Warm Soul 
as my blush. On my lips today, I have the Marc Jacobs um, Little Baby in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is just delightful. And then over the top of that, I have the Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava in Trist. And I think that that is everything. So thank you again for watching. I really hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.